It's a question we've heard asked many times. Why does almost everyone need to get vaccinated? If the vaccines are so effective, can't we just vaccinate the people who want the shot and not worry about everybody else? Important question. We ask our Dr. Frank Me George to explain why there is this push to reach such a high percentage of vaccinated people. Doc? Generally, when we get a shot, we're thinking about protecting ourselves or the people in our family. But vaccines have two purposes. They protect individuals and they prevent the disease from spreading in society. With the coronavirus, it is especially critical to stop that spread as quickly as possible, because right now it could be our best chance of beating this virus. Here's why. The more the virus continues to spread from person to person, the more chances it has to mutate and change. We've seen that as the pandemic has progressed. As the virus has spread around the world, new, more contagious and potentially more deadly variants have developed. The biggest concern of experts right now is that if we continue to allow the coronavirus to spread widely, new variants could develop that our current vaccines may not be effective against, essentially sending us back to square one, and that's a place no one wants to return. There is also the risk of a new variant developing that's more deadly or potentially has a bigger impact on children. This is why there is a push to vaccinate as many Americans as possible before new variants form. This is also why it's critical to help vaccinate the rest of the world, too. Because as we now understand far too well, a virus that starts on the other side of the globe truly is a threat to everyone. Now, there are also, of course, benefits to each individual. We are clearly seeing in the data that those who are vaccinated are less likely to get sick, less likely to be hospitalized, and less likely to die from COVID. While the survival rate of the virus is high in younger and healthier people, there are still many in those groups who have died, who have ended up in the ICU, or who continue to battle significant health problems as a result of COVID. And many people who initially suffered mild symptoms have found themselves among the long haulers, dealing with chronic, debilitating post-COVID symptoms. I think it's important to understand that while it is true that we don't yet have long-term data on the impact of the vaccines, we also do not know the long-term impact of being infected with COVID. Will it raise the risk of other health problems down the road, perhaps? If you think about a virus like chickenpox, for example, that can resurge decades later as painful shingles, that tells us there could be consequences that we just can't know right now. The bottom line, if you haven't been vaccinated yet, I really urge you to talk to a health professional that you trust to get your questions answered and to get your shot as soon as possible, not just for yourself, but for the good of stopping this virus now while we really still have the chance. Back to you.